In this video, I'll show you an effective way to sell digital products. Let's get straight into it. Throughout this video, I'm going to show you two different approaches, right? So the first approach I'm going to show you is, let's say, for example, we've got a store which is currently selling different downloadable business templates. So we've got these three products here that customers can purchase individually or they can purchase this all access plan, which will give them access to all these downloadables, right? So that's the first approach. And then the second approach is we're actually going to hide all these products, which they could usually purchase individually and we're only going to display our all access plan and once they purchase this all access plan then they'll be able to have access to all these other products all right so those are the two different approaches so let me give you a quick example of how that would actually look in theory so going with the first approach are we allowing customers to purchase these um, products individually or as a subscription here they can just go ahead and purchase the product however if they've got access to this plan which i do let's head over to our dashboard and then from here on the content we can actually visit this downloadables page which i'll open in a new tab right and then here we've got the direct download links to all those different products so let's quickly try see what happens if we view this page as a non-member right? and we can see the page right which is fine however here we've got this notice letting us know that we don't have access to this page and if we want access to it we need to purchase our all access plan we can customize this message as well so you can change the copy to suit what it is you're doing right so this is the first approach so the second approach is again if we view this shop page as a non-member all those other free products are hidden right and they're only accessible once a customer purchases this all access plan so if you want to create a similar setup on your WordPress website, the first step is to head over to aovup.com. Go ahead and download the AOVUP memberships plugin. I'll leave a link in the description below. If you do want to offer that um, subscription option, you will need to go for the all access plan to get access to that feature as well. With that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. Assuming you've downloaded the AOVUP memberships and subscription plugin, the next step is to go ahead and configure our subscription plan. So we'll just navigate over to products and then add new okay and then for this product i'm just going to name it our all access right meaning that if a customer purchase this particular subscription then they'll be able to access all the digital products that we've got on our store so here on the product data i'm going to switch this to simple subscription and then i'm going to say we're going to charge let's say nine nine seven um monthly right so we can do it um per day week monthly or even yearly but i'm going to just charge 997 per month and for the renewal we'll keep billing the customer until they cancel their subscription right and we won't offer a trial on this occasion all right so let's just hit publish okay so now let's go ahead and create our memberships plan to automatically enroll a member whenever they purchase this particular product right so we'll navigate over to aov up and then memberships and then memberships plan all right we'll click add new We'll click add membership all right and now we'll just give this membership plan a name right so we'll just say okay so under grant access up on we can manually assign a member onto this particular memberships plan or we can automatically enable all registration sign up to this plan it doesn't make sense so we'll select this option where it says product purchase we'll search for our all access plan which is this product here okay for the memberships length so this is important we're going to set this to unlimited right and the reason why we want to do this is let's say for example the customer cancels their subscription then when this is set to unlimited it will automatically revoke their membership access as well right so that's why we want to set it to unlimited however if it's a one-time purchase right so let's imagine this wasn't a subscription product and it was just a one-time purchase maybe you want to specify the length of the membership right so in that case we would select one of these options however i'm just going to set it to unlimited to automatically tie their membership to this subscription product all right so under rules let's go ahead and create a rule we get to choose which product which post which um, landing page that this particular membership plan will grant them access to so your use case will determine how you'd configure these settings so we've got a few options so for example we can say products categories and then we can say templates this rule will say if a product is in our templates category only members from this plan can view that product right meaning it will be 
hidden to all non-members. Let's navigate over to our store just to illustrate this. Let's say, for example, we wanted to set the price of these products all to zero. And then here in the memberships plan, we can say only members of this all access plan can view these products, right? And since it's free, it just means that your members will just be able to download these downloadables, right? So that's one approach. And I want to take a different approach. I want everyone to be able to view these products, right? So anyone can buy these products individually. However, I want to create a separate page for our subscribers where they can just download all the different templates, right? So that's the approach I'm going for. So I'm actually going to remove this rule and I'm going to create a new rule and I'm going to select pages and then we can create a downloadable pages. I think I've already created one. Let's check. OK, right. So I've already created a page which is downloadables. And here we can say only members of this plan can view this page. And then on this page, we can add the links to all our downloadables. OK, so then we can just hit publish. All right. So let's go ahead and test out our rule. So first, let's navigate over to pages and then we'll navigate over to downloadables. Again, this is the page which I've created beforehand. So you can essentially just create any page you want. Let's quickly edit this page. OK, so let's imagine that we've actually linked these downloadables button to the actual downloadable file, right? Whether that's a Google Drive, whether it's a, a file from your website. Let's actually try view this page as a non member. So let's here we've got this restriction notice letting us know that we don't have access to view this page. And if we want to view this page, we need to purchase our all access product, right? And only when we purchase this product will we be able to have access to this downloadables page. So let's actually enroll into this plan and then we can have a look at the dashboard to see what it's like as a paying member. I'm going to head back over to our dashboard here. OK, so to enroll a member manually, we just need to click add member here and then we can search for the username. OK, then we can click add member. Right. And then we can choose the plan that we want to assign to this particular member. I'm going to select the all access plan. Let's hit save. And now we've also got this all access plan. We've also got this lifetime plan. I'm going to remove this just to avoid confusion. All right, perfect. Let's navigate over to our dashboard. All right. And then my memberships. And then here under content, you can clearly see that we've got access to this downloadables page. Again, this is a secret page that's only available to main members. But we can view this page and then we can download all the products, right? Or if you wanted to go with the approach where you would hide all the products. So let's say, for example, you wanted to hide all these individual products and only display this all access plan. In that case, under products here, if we created a rule where we display all those products, right, then we'll see it here. So let's quickly change the rule and see how it looks in the back end. So let's go plans and let's edit our all access plan. All right, let's create a rule where we say we want to display products from our templates category and only paying customers can view it and it's accessed immediately as well. So we can delay um, content as well. That's great if you want to delay certain content type after a specific period, especially if you offer a trial on your website. OK, so now when we refresh this page, we can see all those products that we've got access to. Right. And now if we were to actually view our shop page as a logged out user, we won't be able to view these products here. So let's quickly check that out. OK, so currently it's still displaying and that's because we need to do one more step. So let's quickly X this off and let's head back over to our dashboard let's navigate over to settings right and then here on the content restriction mode instead of hiding the content only we want to hide it completely so let's choose this option here let's hit save now let's view our shop page again and here you can see all those other products are completely restricted, right? So we're only showing this all access plan. And then essentially, once they purchase this product, then in their my account area or even in the shop page as well, they'll be able to have access to all those products, which we've just specified to be accessible via purchasing this plan only, right? 